Tulips, which are native to Central Asia, became a very popular flower in the Ottoman Empire in the 16th century, especially during the reign of Suleiman the Magnificent. During this period, it not only became a status symbol, but also came to represent God. So the plant was cultivated in the royal gardens and displayed in a great deal of artwork. In 1554, the tulip found its way to Europe when the Holy Roman Empire's ambassador in Istanbul, Busbeck, sent the first tulip bulb to Austria. Fast forward to 1593, and a famed Flemish botanist, Carolus Classius, planted several tulip bulbs in his botanical garden. Over time, he proved their ability to grow in the harsh conditions of the Low Countries. Plus, he discovered the tulip breaking virus. This virus made the flowers bloom with colours that appeared flame-like, which ultimately made them more desirable. But the plants took over seven years to properly mature, and the supply could not keep up with the demand, so price inflation was somewhat inevitable. The initial market for the plants was in the Netherlands. They had recently achieved their independence from Spain, and thanks to overseas trade, had an ever-growing middle class. This middle class, eager to display their newfound wealth, were quick to adopt the flower as a status symbol. Nevertheless, the price of tulips initially remained relatively stable until around 1634, when French merchants began to buy tulips for their wives. Sellers began to stockpile tulips, further increasing the price and, in turn, making the tulip appear as a sound investment. So rather than planting tulips, the largely inexperienced investors began to buy tulips with the intention of reselling, and this craze began to grip the nation. This corresponded with an outbreak of plague in the Netherlands. The plague, along with the casualties caused by the Thirty Years' War, created a labour shortage and increase in wages. Plus, some say the fatalism which this produced made the Dutch more inclined to take risks. The sellers found a way to keep selling for the period of the year when the plant could not be uprooted. The new merchants would trade in contracts, and this was an early form of what is now future contracts. But these contracts were not regulated, and largely conducted in taverns between the two parties. So bulbs and money rarely changed hands. Instead, the buyer would only have to pay a small wine tax, around 2.5% of the trade, and he could sell the contract on for a profit later that day. This skewed the balance between risk and reward. Therefore, throughout the winter months of 1636 and 37, the price of tulips had shot through the roof. A certain species of tulip, the Viceroy, could fetch around 2,500 guilders, or around 16 and a half years pay for a skilled worker. But the smarter traders began to see the market as unmanageable, and failed to reinvest their money into it. Then, in February 1637, the bubble burst when a tulip auction in Harlem failed to attract any buyers. The merchants who still had tulips were thrown into a panic and tried to quickly sell off these now worthless flowers, causing the price to drop significantly. It was made even worse because many florists had been selling tulips they did not yet own to buyers who couldn't afford it. So the Dutch government tried to step in and offered 10% cancellation fee to void any contracts, but it did little to prevent many people losing a vast amount of money. However, on the whole, the economic damage was not overly extensive for the state and population, and the Dutch continued to expand. But it did create a cultural legacy that was referenced through every market crash from the South Seas Company to that of the dot-com boom. Meanwhile, the Ottoman nobility continued to be infatuated with the plant and, in the early 18th century, went through the tulip period, which saw the elite buy a great deal of tulips. But learning from the Dutch, the Ottoman government was able to effectively intervene once it looked like a similar situation would arise in Istanbul and issued price lists. And in the Netherlands, although the tulip fell out of favour for a while, it gradually found its way to being the symbol of the country.